morning everybody actually it's probably noon-ish or a little later maybe it could be one o'clock actually um i got back from surfing this morning uh the waves were big like like big but a lot of them so i call it the washing machine i was caught on the inside and just couldn't get out and i kept going around and basically paddled around for like two hours hour and a half and wore myself out, it was really fun. Um, I caught like a half of a wave. I didn't actually like, I got up and it was, it was too messy, it was messy and windy, but you know, any day on the water is better than no days on the water. Um, yeah, I had the forerunner all loaded. I brought my short board and my big board. Yes, there's pillows on the roof of the car again. This hood is going up there with the help of my wife in a few minutes. Um, and then I'm actually going to do something that you've never seen me actually do before. I'm actually going to complete something instead of it just going and cutting off. It'll still all be the normal stuff you're used to, but instead of an eight minute and 52 second video, like the GoPro likes to chop videos, apparently I have an editing software so I can actually like put the extra two or three minutes or 10 minutes or whatever on the backside. So you might actually, you'll get longer videos that are actually going to show me completing. So the plan is to go to this side yes those are some Kragers 15 by 7s those are not the wheels that are going to be on the front of this car um, the tens are on the back but these are going to get 15 by 4 for the front because that's the way it should be but I'm going to put the bracket on and pack bearings and all that fun stuff and you'll see a disc brake conversion um, and we'll get into that in just a minute. I'm going to move this hood, call my wife, and then I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but when you when I go to the store, I end up buying too much stuff. So let's look and see what I got. Uh, brake clean. I need some more of that because it tastes good and smells good. A magnet and a bolt. I need a magnet. Magnet. There. Okay. Can stay there. Um, dust caps. I forgot I need a dust caps. Need one for that side. Over there. I did find in my box of stuff that uh, definitely I did get seals and grease. So I'm probably going to pack all the bearings because I got multiple bearings, both sides to do. What I didn't realize is I don't have brake lines, and I don't know where my calipers are. I think they're in there somewhere. Um, so the video is going to get both sides of the rotors done. Come on! And that bracket in the back. So this video is probably going to be like 20 minutes long. Hope you guys are okay with that. Um, this new video of me editing, I sure would dig some feedback because I'm not very good at it. I'm not real confident that uh, I have my calipers anywhere in here. It's dark in there. I don't see them. Maybe they're in the trunk. Why would I stick them in the trunk? A lot of stuff for this car is in the trunk. Sidetrack, ADD, here we go, to the trunk. Yes. Those are pillows holding the hood up. Back seat, I already told you about that. Ooh, keys. I need the keys. Keys, keys. It's bright outside today. It's beautiful. Sun's out. Surfing was terrible. Not really, it's never bad. Okay, trunk of death, or trunk of whatever, hopes and lies and all sorts of stuff. Um, no, no, negative, dash pieces, my cube dash pieces in here, and yes, I'm going to stick it in the car, I will cut it and stick it in the car, but not today, you asked me about that, and I said, be patient. Brake lines. We'll be doing those later. 
dropping stuff everywhere. Oh. No, I really don't know where I stuck them. That'll be a different day. Ooh, heard something fall on the ground. I wonder what it was. Okay, where are we? That's the light needs to come on. Security light that I haven't figured out how to do the on off real quick enough to make it stay on permanently. I don't know where my brake calipers are. In here, let's grab some light. And then in there. Oh, ah, no, it's a shifter. Mm hmm. Where did I stick them? It's a Donovan. Let's put this light in here so I can see what I'm doing. This is a Donovan oil or fuel pump timing cover for running. It's vintage. This is old. Small block Chevy Donovan bearings for running the uh, alcohol. When this car, when this blower was alcohol, put that up in the good stuff. Ooh, look, Brian. There's your gauges. What's that? Well, I like motorcycles, and this is an S and S Super B with a Holly flow bowl on the front of it that uh, if you guys are into motorcycles you might know of a guy named Ron Trock. Ron Trock Jr. actually built all those and he built like three or four sets because before the Super E came out they couldn't get a big enough fuel bowl and his drag bikes were running out of fuel so he made those and I have a set I have one I talked to Ron about this and he said that he made a couple of them. I have the squared off one. My friend Jesse has the other one. I think Ron has the third one. And there might be another one floating around somewhere, but um, Ron Trock, Trock cylinders and stuff. We're making like big bore Harley, race Harley stuff. Why did I go on that tangent? Where's my calipers? I really don't know where they are. I really don't know. Is it important? Nope, not right now. What is important is getting this rotor on and these wheels packed. So I have two bearings. I got a seal. I got some grease. I need a couple rags. My wife cuts up my work shirts and I use them as rags. Thanks, babe. Oh, why is this welder open? Well, this is a model 8317 Napa MIG welder, 130 amps, something like that. It only does, um, it's only made to run with with gas. And I like flux core because gas over here is really expensive. Welding gas is really expensive. So you saw my other little Lincoln. Well, that thing kind of has a hard time. My buddy George said, if you think you can make this thing work, take it. Well, I like electrical stuff and I like doing weird things. And so I'm going to swap this lead and this lead around to reverse the polarities and the electronical whatever stuff. And then, um, then I can run, just change the polarity through the gun and then I can run flux core or it's actually gasless wire because flux core wire, you can run some flux core wire. You can run standard. Where are my calipers? I really don't know. They're $40 for a brand new loaded set. And this set that I have is 20 years old. They were new at one time. I don't even know if they're frozen. I don't even know if I should continue. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I almost want to put the cards back on and put that scoop on over there. Just for fun, but no brakes. I have to complete the brakes. I said I would, and I'm gonna. So we're gonna complete the brakes today. Turn the lights on over here so we can see what we're doing. Now about a light. How about a light? 
How about a light? How about a light? Um, how about light? How about now? Nope. How about now? Um, yeah, how about now? Okay. Can you see what you're doing? Can I see what I'm doing? Where's the spindle? There it is. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Time to pack some grease. Make sure the seal fits. Is this seal going to fit? I'm going to say probably. Is this dust cap going to fit? It says GM on it. Doesn't that mean it fits automatically? I'm going to say if I'm really nice to this and I get it out of here. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. No. Too, too big. So I don't have a dust cap. Well, what you're going to see is you're going to see everything but the dust cap and the calipers go on on this side in this video. And then you're going to see me struggle but be faster on the other side. Um, I did get bolts, so success. They're in the bag over there. i got to go get them. Let's go get them. Let's go get the bolts. Move stuff out of the way because I live in a tiny garage. Bolts. Save my Napa receipt. There it is right there. Okay. Um, bolts. And I couldn't find the correct spacers. So I've got nuts that are the same measurement, 3 8 like lock nuts, jam nuts. And those are going to go behind until I can get the correct um, setup, which will be fine. I don't, I don't care. Do you care? I didn't think so. Um, I mean, I know you care, but you don't care. It doesn't matter. It's not that important. Uh, okay. Plug the phone back in. Let's get this back up where you can see. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll be I'll be like Vanna White. I'll be like Vanna. Okay. The worst part of it. Let's pack some grease, shall we? Let's pack these bearings. Should we pack we'll pack all four bearings, because that's fun. I got nothing else to do. Okay, let's pack some bearings. Open up the can of goo. Ah, here we go. Oh, I love it. Now I stick this in my hand like this and grease it, which is going to get greasy anyway, but if I do it like this, then I can work it in. I like doing it till I get grease coming out of these grooves. I force it in there with my fingers. There is a way to do it like like that, you just take the grease and work them in like that, which is real fun. Gets it in the backside real good. I like to do it like that. And if I was really smart, I'd have a spot to set all these, but I'm not. And so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. How about the bearing seal box? How about that? That's a good one. Now I'll grab the little one here, because I, I'm pre I pre-thought this out. I did. I really thought this out real good. No. Oh. I'm going to get one of those bearing buddies that you can stick it in, stick the grease in, and then I can step on it, push on it real hard, and it forces the grease out. Okay, that's that side. 
Bear in box number two. I thought about having you guys not suffer watching me do this, but then I decided, no, it's more fun. If you don't like it, you guys can close close the browser, I guess, and stop watching. <laughs> it's weird. I make such very bad videos, and there's 50-some people that watch it. It's weird to me. It's weird to me that you guys would watch a video of somebody who you don't know doing stuff that you guys all know how to do on your other cars in a different state like Hawaii for instance where I live in Maui but I guess it's like a gearhead thing we all suffer and we all are familiar with this suffering and we do it because we love it and um, yeah I guess that's that's what it boils down to I guess Watching your brothers and try fiveness or gearheadedness, getting getting after it. Um, I don't really do the time lapse stuff because I number one I don't know how to do it. Number two, um, there's a lot of videos that I watch, and I'm really watching for details because my OCD needs to see certain things, and um, I'm watching the detail because I want to see if there's something that was missed, not for critical, but like, so I have a heads up when I do it, like say patch panels and stuff like that. Like, you know, when Dan was doing the floor in his 56, I was super stoked to see how he did it and suffer through it. And then all those things, because I've got to do patch panels in my car or, you know, when Chris is doing some other stuff and all the rest of the guys is doing patch panels, it's, I've got to make mine and and do it right. I bought the ones for it, but I just don't. I don't like doing body work. It's just not my thing. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna get rid of this rag, and then I'm gonna probably put the rotor together. But I think I'm going to put the bolts on the bottom here where they need to be. Ah, rag number two. Let me get some brake clean so I can clean off my hands. Ah, no, God, ah, falling down. Okay, I made it. Don't worry, I made it. Okay, clean enough to eat off of. Oh, ah. Clean enough for eating pizza anyway. I love pizza, but I'm not having any. Okay, all right, this nut goes with this set of bearings. This set of bearings is gonna go up here on the table. That rag is gonna go in the rag of doom hole. This other trash is gonna go over here on trash. Okay, there's that. We'll put these nice greased bearings up behind the camera where you can't see it. We'll put a lid on our grease for later. We'll put a footnote in that later. Oh, I got grease on the ground. No. All right, all right, here we go. Rotor out of the way, dust cap out of the way. Put this in, my spacer, my grade eight, seven sixteenths bolt. Ooh, that's fancy. Bolt number two, and I got lock nuts, nylock nuts. 
because I'm lazy. And I don't want to do this again. So I think this kit, when you buy this bracket as a kit, it comes with instructions, comes with this shaved down bolt that's real skinny for the rotor. It comes with grade eight stuff. I didn't buy it as a kit. I bought it as a secondhand setup with another set of spindles. I was gonna show you where the other bolt holes go, but I gave them to my buddy George because somebody messed up his nut, the, the thing on the front of his right here. Ears, ready? Yeah, oh, I love that when it works. Let's give this a good tight to German specs. Good and tight. Oh, yeah. All right. One side almost done, except for this part, which will be done later. Thanks to Napa for having my little rolly round cart. I freaking love it. Okay, all right, I didn't get a hammer. I forgot my hammer, it's over there. So I'm gonna drop my bearing in. My bearing in the back. Ah, this big bearing is gonna go in here. Oh, yeah. But before I do that, I'm adding some grease. Because that's really fun. And I probably should have done, I like to pack the inside of this. But not too much because Put too much it'll come out on the, the front side anyway when you stick the spindle but just enough and I move my bearings around to seat them and I just go like that this is nice and it makes me happy I made a mess now I can't grab anything I didn't think that through I need to go get my um, hammer I need to clean that off, and I didn't think this through by grabbing the wrong rag. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. Oh man, where is my, where's those, where's those cheap rags? Here they are. Boxer rags. Temporary rags. They're blue, so you, your wife doesn't yell at you for using the paper towels out of the kitchen. At least that's what I think. Okay, where in the world is my hammer? Ugh. There it is. Quit looking, I found it. Oh. My mallet, my hammer. I don't know where my seal installer is. I think it got borrowed by somebody and never returned. That never happens in real life. Oh, another thing, I want to thank my sponsors and my the crew that comes in here and works on my car after, because doing this in real life would be crazy. That's what a crazy person would do. Interesting. As we all know, making videos that we all know there's another group that comes in when nobody's looking and puts these cars together for us because we got the big bucks. And it's got to be done in a day or six weeks or six days or whatever. Okay, rotor going on. Little bearing going on. Get off that box, okay. Oh man, that is so sweet. You know, I have a question. I got a feeling that this nut, I'm wondering if the cotter pin's actually gonna go back in the spot where it was. I'm gonna say yes. And I don't have the actual cotter pin. So I need to get that too. Oh, 
like them to go around one turn. Mark that one. More or less. <clears throat> A little too much. Back it off to the next hole. About there. Yeah, baby. Listen to that. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, that's this side. You can't go anymore on this side. Which means all this stuff, my Napa roll around cart, get to go over to the other side. We're going to party over there. Oh, yeah. You guys got to go over there too. So, um, that's that. I got to figure out the right, uh, I need a cotter pin, which goes through here. I have a hole here too, but I can go through here and I need, I need cotter pins and I need calipers. I need brake hoses, which I don't know what to get. I need, uh, Clinical help, some sort of mental help, probably. No, oh, man, my OCD, my ADD. Ah, this side, I think, is pretty good. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, welcome to another installment of I'm Gonna Go Crazy. I need to move stuff out of my way because there's not enough room here. Behind me. Okay, all right. So in case you're wondering, this is the part number of the rotor. I don't know if you can see it, it's probably really big. Race Bestus 5100R. I'm guessing R is for rotor. Because that sounds logical to me. Okay, let's see. Let's open this up, let's see what we got. Can you remember which way this blade? Oh, I found it. Can you remember which way this knife and this blade open? And my Leatherman is over there. And I have this one, which is a Husky. But I also have an actual, I have two other Leathermans actually. Oh, how nice and to make with a piece of wood. All right. I should have brought more rags. I'm just now seeing my, my mistake. Mistake. Need more rags, more rags. More rags, more rags. More, more rags, more rags. The bearings are right here somewhere. Right below us. Ooh, brackets. Time to get this bracket up. Okay, here we go. Off comes a bracket. Gonna get noisy. Ready? Three, two, one, one, two, three. What in the world? Don't tell me there's still a cotter pin in there. Looks like I gotta get it off with a. Let's try this one. Is this one go? Nope. Okay. That's not working. Let's bring out the impact. That was a 5 8. Do I have a half inch drive 5 8 socket over here? I do. I also have a 16, because that's the same. Where is it? That is a 15. Fail. This is a 16. Success. We'll put this on the big gun. And I'm quite certain whatever is on that is going to break off. 
which would be really cool. I like watching bolts break. Okay. Time for a party. Ready? Plug your ears. Oh man, that feels good. These two nuts. All right. Malts and nuts and stuff. All right, here we go. This one is going up here like this. Yeah, I think so. Let's put this one right here. Fine thread, large, custom. Push this away. Another grade eight bolt. Hmm. What's going on here? Well, let's just run her in, shall we? Pretty good, pretty good. This one needs a spacer. Spacer, yep, 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 that'll work. And then somehow, <clears throat> with help of the persuader, and then a couple of nuts in the back like this with the wrench. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. One more nut. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, why are you off? You can shut you off. What color is that? I like, ooh, orange. Really orange. Blue. Blue. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Time to get ready to make it German. That's not German. If a German did that, he'd be shot at dawn. Ouch. Good and tight. All right, here we go. Oh, man, that's tight. Oh. I heard stuff snap in my hand. Okay. Put the big toys away. Over there, go over there, I don't need you. I don't need you. Do I need you? I don't need that. I might need this. I do need this. I'm hoping you can stay even more. Are you able to see? Is that better what I'm doing there? I'm just spinning over right there, okay. Oh, I didn't check to see if you guys could actually see. I'm really bad at this. My technical guy is terrible. My lighting guy isn't much better. Greasy. Greasy, yeah. 
Okay. Off goes the grease. In goes the big bearing. Big bearing. No, big bearing. That one. Spin in there. Yeah, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <sighs> really wish I was surfing. There you go. Need to clean my hands off. Using chemicals to clean my hands. All right, now I'll put on the seal. So this type of seal, this is the inside, this is the outside. Outside goes to the inside. Get it? Keeps the dirt from coming this way. What are you doing? Bango. Grease it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't squeak. Just a dust cover. <laughs> Bearings on. Oh, yeah. Front bearing on. Get off the box. What is it about bearings and boxes? I don't get it. All right. Grease. Nut. All right, now let's get that really nice feel. That's about actually perfect. Back it off maybe for the next hole. And seat it in there real far. Spin it. It's almost too much. That's too loose. That's too tight. Well, when I get the card up in there, I'll know exactly where it goes. That sure feels good to me. All right. Time to clean up this mess. Ah. <sighs> That. That is that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty, pretty stoked. I really wish this was the non-zero offset setup. Um, I have to figure out. Well, I think the 15 by fours will fit in here, and they're more of a positive offset anyway. So we'll see how it looks. I just can't stand it when they're not symmetrical. How's this light? How's that light? That's pretty cool. Ooh, pretty sick. And I have this one up here that doesn't want to work. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay. Finished Mr. Roadster scoop. That's what that is. 60s or something. Mr. Roadster vintage scoop. Those carters back on the blower. That'd be really Let's do it next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, give me some feedback on once this video is edited and loaded. It's only about, let's see, tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving. No, that's not true. Today's Tuesday. So Wednesday, tomorrow is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. The engine video actually comes out Thursday, which is Thanksgiving. So now you can see I'm not that far ahead like I was before. And uh, those of you guys that wish me happy birthday, I really appreciate it. My birthday was technically in September. So the engine video that you're watching the car actually start 
actually the car started in September. Um, and I did actually fire it the day before my birthday and then fired it again on my birthday um, when Rob came over. We hung out. You guys didn't film that. I didn't film that for you guys because um, he wanted to mess with it. He brought his temp gun and revved it up a bunch of time with any water in it. And he, he built the motor anyway, so if he wants to melt it down, it's up to him, which he didn't. He's an air-cooled VW guy. He knows what thermal dynamics on stuff works, and he knows where the thresholds are. So it didn't run that long, actually. I don't even know if it got to temperature. I could still hold the heads. Not the headers, but I could touch the valve covers and heads. Um, the next thing is going to be uh, I'm probably going to do the caliper or the mass cylinder. If you look closely, this has been replated. So actually, the mass is going to sit over here, and the slave cylinder is going to go right there for the clutch. So I'll probably knock that off. I may knock that off while you guys are watching. It's probably going to be easier for me to just take it off because it looks like the bolts and nuts are in a weird spot, like nuts here and bolts here. I don't know. I'm thinking these are actually the, the original studs to the outside, and they just drilled it and flopped it over for the clutch pedal. They were using the clutch pedal as a brake pedal, a big conglomeration of grossness. Let me go get it. Um, this thing. This is a clutch pedal. You see it here in the light. This is a clutch pedal that they hacked and put on this on a Lincoln or a tractor or something. I don't know what it is, but I put a clutch pedal back in. So if you think about it this way, this is the way the brake pedal went in the car. Instead of over here where it belongs, where the original one is now. So I'm going to move the master over here where it goes. I'll put the clutch, the slave cylinder right here. And then it'll be time to run lines. And I got a big old thing in the trunk you saw of all the lines I got to bend. So I'm going to cut all these out. There's a line lock that's going to go on this somewhere. There's an adjustable proportioning valve that's going to go on this somewhere. And then uh, all the lines are going to go down and back. I'm doing quarter inch to the rear and three sixteenths to the front. And then I got to figure out what brake hoses go here. If you guys know what brake hoses go to disc brakes, the length I need to get right here, please tell me because um, until I get those, if I haven't figured it out until by then, um, let me know. I could really use the help with that. Anyway, I get a seamlessly string all these videos together in my new Adobe Premiere on my new laptop and then this will all be one video which I'm guessing is going to probably it might even be a, a half hour if it is I'm sorry you guys had to watch a half hour of me rambling and craziness but I got something done